planet Earth. At some point during our short lives, all of us turn inwards and contemplate the nature of the Earth we inhabit. From childhood, we are taught about the Earth, the Sun, the Moon, and space. We learn about our solar system and the planets within it. We learn about the Milky Way and the infinite vastness of space. And we accept these teachings as facts and go about our busy daily lives. One day, I decided I wanted to know more about our world and universe. I wanted to know everything, so I started digging. But straight away, I started to bump into things that made me stop and think. Hmm. Here are a few of those things. Did you know that our spherical Earth is spinning in space at a rate of over a thousand miles an hour, and that the Earth rotates the Sun at over sixty-seven thousand miles per hour? Causing us to hurtle through the Milky Way galaxy at over 500,000 miles per hour, and all the while the Milky Way is expanding at the speed of light, zooming at roughly 670 million miles per hour. Mind dazzling, isn't it? And yet, not one single human on Earth can actually feel this motion. We can feel the motion on a roller coaster, a train. We get car sickness. And when we fall, our entire body feels a rush, but we feel not one aspect of the Earth's daily journey through the cosmos. That's weird. We've all seen images of Earth from space. In 1972, NASA released the first whole image of Earth as seen from space, titled the Blue Marble. One can only feel amazement at its perfect spherical shape. And feel the immense enormity of the silent nothingness that surrounds our blue marble. But did you know that the blue marble image and every subsequent image of the Earth released by NASA are composite images, developed by computers out of data and finalized in Photoshop? There are no whole images of the Earth as seen from space. Who would have thought? And then there's gravity. Einstein theorized that gravity exists due to the curvature of space that results from a massive object, and it is the force that keeps us all rooted to the Earth. What goes up must come down, and gravity is so strong that it has the power to keep all our oceans strictly bound to the Earth, and the power to curve them over our spinning planet. But it is not strong enough, however, to keep the birds from gliding through the skies, to stop feathers floating in the air, and balloons rising. Hmm. I guess gravity's power is a selective one. As I looked into space and physics more, I had more and more questions, and I knew that somebody much smarter than me out there had the answers. But it wasn't just space that fascinated me. I wanted to learn about the biological and geographical nature of our world. And again, as I dived into learning, I found more weird things that puzzled me. It's basic biology that living cells consist primarily of hydrogen and carbon, and water consists primarily of oxygen and hydrogen. But biologists found the strangest of anomalies in the poles of the Earth that even puzzled Soviet biologists. They found an unnatural amount of water frozen in the ice and an unusually high percentage of carbon dioxide in the world's oceans. There is a lot of water, snow, and ice on the Earth. Do you know what this anomaly tells us? It tells us of a great worldwide fire in the Earth's history that biologists have suggested carried away 99% of the world's biosphere. What really puzzles me is that figure, 99%. That means that everything alive on Earth is now 20,000 times less in volume, and the biochemical mass of all living things is much less than before this huge fire. Wait, what? What did living things look like before that fire? There's no doubt that we could benefit from extensive scientific study in our poles. But did you know that Antarctica is the only continent on Earth that actually belongs to nobody? In 1959, the nations of the world signed the UN Treaty, ensuring that no country has claim to Antarctica. The treaty prohibits and regulates all global activity on the continent. Wait, come again? Since when has any nation given up their drive to own and exploit any land on Earth? I kept researching, which just opened up question after question, 
Some things just didn't make sense to me, and it seemed that many pieces of the larger puzzle were missing or just unanswered. And then I stumbled on something so ridiculous and absurd, I did not know whether to laugh or become angry. Meet the Flat Earth Society, a group of like-minded individuals that hypothesize that the Earth is not actually a globe in a vast and evolving universe, but a flat and stationary plane. At first I thought it was a joke, or some kind of vigilant, religious and creationist denial of scientific advancement. Humanity lived in the dark ages for years, and we finally have objective, progressive science, advancing our understanding of this great mystery, and flat earthers think it's okay to promote such anti-scientific theories. <sighs> Nonetheless, I thought I'd check it out before dismissing it completely. In fact, I just wanted a good laugh and some entertainment to keep boredom at bay. But, you see, despite all my skepticism and desire to debunk and ridicule these flat earthers, what I found was nothing short of astonishing. I had finally found something that challenged my scientific understanding of the world, not just with theory, but also strong scientific evidence. I want to share this with you. Come with me, if you will down this rabbit hole to discover whether our Earth is, in fact, a flat and stationary plane. I only ask one thing before we begin. Keep an open mind until the end of this series and question absolutely everything. I promise you this. At the end, you will certainly agree that everything we have been told about our planet is not exactly what it seems. You may even find that your entire perspective on the world has changed, like mine has. And I warn you, this rabbit hole is deep and perhaps at times a little troubling, but we'll take it one step at a time. And hey, who knows, maybe we'll even get to meet Alice on her way to Wonderland. Follow me now to part two of What on Earth Happened.